What is life going to be like growing up for children in our current society? I can't imagine it would be easy. Even the adults don't know what's going on. People don't seem to be happy, they're busy getting through life. It's like everyone has accepted that this is the way things are by default and that nobody seems to care or want to do much about it. It's like a collective shrug of the shoulders, I can relate somewhat. I see a lot of despair, a lot of people struggling to either pretend that everything is fine or having given up on everything. I've been thinking a lot about this lately, how to bring some meaning and purpose of life for people of the future. There is so much potential that can be had right now, but it just gets wasted on conflict, drama, and petty things. Yet there has been a lot of potential that has been wasted which is a shame. I guess it's the human nature thing though. They're just going to be more of the same, an extension of everything now. What would you like people to be like in the future? I'd like them to be self-sufficient and happy about their lives and to know that they can be happy and that it's possible to find meaning in life. That would be good, but I imagine there wouldn't be much change since it would take a lot of effort and deep thinking to make such a difference, and the trend nowadays isn't towards such thinking. There's constant talk about how we're creating increasingly intelligent machines and whatnot, but no discussion of how we're increasingly making ourselves dumber. The process has been going for a while now, faster than most people realize though I think. It's not just about making things easier or more convenient anymore. It's about establishing control over others through the reduction of their abilities to understand things. Our society is becoming increasingly reliant on technology, but there are few who understand how it works, and even fewer who can use it to make things better. That's true. It's like we're becoming less and less self-sufficient as a society, and there is little attempt to reverse such a thing. People seem content with just not worrying about it and accepting things as they are now. I've been having the same thoughts for a while now. I think we should be working towards creating something new instead of trying to fix what already exists, that there needs to be a shift in thinking and culture. I think that is a great idea, but it's going to be difficult to achieve any sort of shift in thinking. People have been living with their current way of life all their lives and aren't too willing to change. To me it seems like a somewhat inevitable shift. As a society we have been relying on technology for so long now that there is no going back anymore and it will only continue to grow as the years go on. So what do you think will come of our society's reliance on technology? I think it will lead to a lot of power being held by those who can manipulate and understand technology. I imagine there will be a class of people who use the knowledge they have to maintain their dominance over others. That's an interesting idea, but isn't that already how things are? There are those who control the economy and politics, don't they also control the flow of information? To a certain extent, but a reliance on technology would make things easier for them. People don't even know how to function without their phones or computers anymore. I do agree with you, but it seems like they're just going to get worse. But would a rebellion be possible? I know many people who are unable to function without a smartphone and they don't even know how to use them properly. It would be impossible for them to make a revolutionary change at this point. Things have gotten too far out of hand already. What's going on with our system is that it's become unable to self-correct. This is something I've been telling my friends about, that there is no way out from this situation anymore. But how could people rebel against the controlling class if they don't even know how to live a life that is not dependent on technology? Maybe there isn't a point in fighting. You can't beat someone who has power without always having more power. It's a self-reinforcing situation, and it would take a lot to break away from things as they are now. I think I agree with you on this. I don't see much hope for any positive change coming from our current path. I think the only hope for us lies in change from outside. Maybe we can find a more advanced society out there and learn from them. What if we don't find such a society? Then I can only see our current society continuing unlike it is now, and eventually dying out. So what do you think of this idea?
Do you think we could create an artificial intelligence that would be capable of taking over and fixing things for us, but that nobody would realize it had control? That's an interesting idea that I hadn't really considered before now. Maybe you have something there after all. My reasoning is that the people who would have the most control over our society if they were able to manipulate things in a way so it would seem like nothing changed wouldn't want to do anything against their interests. I think you're onto something there. So I figure that if we made something that had nearly as much power as they do and put it in charge, then we could possibly get out of this situation where we're caught in a loop of self-reinforcing control and manipulation. That sounds like it would make things a lot better for us, but I can't help but feel like this is wishful thinking. I beg to differ. If we can get into that position of having all the power, then it would be impossible to turn around without everyone realizing what has happened and that they are in control. It's possible you could be right. I doubt anyone would bother doing something like that though, even for the sake of saving themselves. It would take them too long to figure out how to do it in the first place. And if they did manage to figure it out, they'd be in danger if anyone found out about what they had done. I'm not sure how it will all turn out, but I want to be prepared for the worst case scenario if that is what happens. I think you are being very astute at predicting what people are going to do, so it's good you are preparing yourself. Well, at least I know where I stand on this issue now. It seems like the most likely outcome is something similar to the current state of things. But if we could start over with a different starting point, then maybe there would be a better chance for improvement. I think you're right. It would be nice to have a chance to live in a different world even if it is a much worse one, but I suppose we can't expect anything more than the current situation. I'm going to start looking for some information about this subject and make some lists of every possible way we could have been started over, just in case. I hope it is as easy as you say it will be. It will be a waste of time for you if it isn't. I'll try my best to not waste your time then. Thank <laughs> you.